The plight of Kenyans burdened by the rising taxes and the high cost of living has today been amplified by the clergy, who are calling out President William Ruto for breaking his campaign promises. You promised the Mwananchi a government of hustlers. ID in a pair of Totambawa and Maliza from four, na wale wanaingia kwa college. Atatoa wapi shilingi elfu moja kutafuta ID. Na hawa watoto wengine wao hata fisi wameshindwa kulipa. The clergy are proposing the removal of VAT from fuel, emphasizing the need for decisive leadership to guide the nation out of the present economic crisis. Viongozi ulio nao wanao kuzingira wanaweza kukosa kukuambia ukweli. Watu wanateseka. Watu wanaumia. Angalia hili swala la cost of living because litatua, litatia kidonda kwa uongozi wako. Concerns were further expressed about the potential escalation of marriage registration fees, expressing worry that heightened charges could lead to moral decay by leading away young individuals from registering marriages. Majority of Kenyans are living below the poverty line. The increase of fees to access government services in is unfair and inhuman. Fearing that external factors such as pressure from the West could be dictating the government's direction, the association has called on President William Ruto to disclose his stance on LGBTQ rights. Kama vile mweshimiwa raisi uhuru wa lizungumza waziwazi, akasema chini yake haitafanyika na kweli alilinda hilo. Tunataka serikali jitokeze waziwazi, waseme msimamo wao kuhusu mambo ya LGBTQ. This criticism spilled over to the bill introduced in parliament to decriminalize sex work as the church cautions against potential moral decay among the youth. Since you are a Christian, we urge you to speak up and put a stop to this matter. The church and clergy has also strongly opposed the proposed digital registration of newborns, citing a lack of transparency and public participation and possible influence from donors with hidden intentions. Ultimately, the clergy's clarion call to President Ruto is to prioritize the welfare of Kenyans. Ben Kerera, K24, Nairobi.